This video is brought to you by Famisafe. Famisafe is the most reliable parental control app, which helps parents watch over your kids and keep them safe. It features location tracking, web filtering, app blocking, SMS text screening, and even screen time control. Try it out with a 3-day free trial with the link in the video description. Ebos Vox here with a quick premiere tip. If you have a really big project, such as this one that I have, where there are all sorts of files and not all of them are used and you want to condense your project file and your folders into something more organized or something to deliver to someone else to edit, uh, especially if your source footage is on a bunch of different drives. For example, all of these source files are on different file locations because they come from other projects. This is actually very easy in Premiere. Go to File, go to Project Manager. Then you can choose the sequences that you want to export for someone else to be able to manipulate. I'm actually just going to choose all of these. Then you have the option to collect the files and copy them to a new folder where you want the delivery file to rest. Or you can actually transcode all of the files. So for example, if you want someone to be able to edit just like proxy versions or lower resolution versions, you can sort of do it with this, which is pretty cool. You can tell it to exclude unused clips, which is super important. That way it doesn't copy a bunch of data that isn't used in the project. You can include handles up to, you know, however many frames you want to specify. This is essentially, if you have cut a clip in the timeline, it will extend that a little bit. For example, one second for 60 frames on a 60 frame per second timeline, which will allow them a little bit more flexibility to extend the clips. You can convert image sequences just straight to clips. You can rename the source media files to match what they are named in the timeline. That's just super helpful for organization. Uh, you can convert After Effects compositions to clips, which can be useful for uh, some people to edit. I'm actually not using that in this case because I need the After Effects compositions to stay as is. And then Preserve Alpha when converting clips for clips that you cut the background out of and want as overlays. Then you choose where it goes. Select. It'll tell you how much disk space is available and so on. You can actually calculate the resulting project size, which I'm going to do because I have to upload this to the internet somehow. Uh, I'm going to go back to I'm only copying files. I am not transcoding, which kind of limits what options you have here. If you're just copying, you have the option to include the audio conform files and the preview files, which could be beneficial. I will not because that's just extraneous data that they can regenerate upon opening the project. I'm going to hit calculate. It's going to analyze your project and it will be... <laughs> okay, well, it's going to be almost 500 gigabytes worth of data. But that's from a source. All of the data, if I were to grab every single file that isn't used, would be 1.45 terabytes. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to get this uploaded, but I'll figure it out. And then you hit OK. Requires project to be saved. Continue. Yes. It's going to analyze your project and then start copying the media. And then if you go into your task manager, you can see your disk space is being, or your disk write speed and your network bandwidth are being used as file copies happen. I am pushing and pulling one gigabyte or one gigabit per second at a time on my 10 gigabit network because a lot of this footage that isn't already in the main project folder is actually on a one gigabit per second NAS instead of my 10 gigabit. But that's okay. Give it time to have copied 500 gigs worth of data or however big your project is. It will go very quickly for you most likely since you're most likely not dealing with a project this big, and you're good to go. You now have a folder set that someone else can pick up. If you found this video helpful, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe for more tech education. I have a playlist of other Premiere and editing videos linked in the description down below, and I'll see you in the next one.